Unit three, lesson one, listen and do. Part one. The weather is windy in central areas, but it is still nice farther southwest. It was fine up in the north until a week ago, but now winter has just arrived with lots of snow on the mountains and ice on the lakes. In fact, it's snowy everywhere in the north now. And the roads got icy last night, so we really have to drive carefully. It's been rainy and cloudy here recently. It's rained up here in the north today, and it rained yesterday and the day before yesterday too. It was really wet yesterday evening. In the south, there's been a lot of cloud for the last few days, but there hasn't been much rain. The weather in the north has been quite different from the weather in the south during the past week. In the south, it's still quite hot and sunny, and it hasn't got much cooler yet. Up here in the north, it's cloudy and also very windy. It's a cold wind from the mountains, and everyone feels that winter has already started. Part two. The weather is going to be very different in different parts of Britain tomorrow. Southwest England will have a very good day, and temperatures will be from fourteen to fifteen degrees Celsius. And there will just be a very light wind from the west, with speeds from five to ten miles per hour. Compare that with northeast Scotland. There, things will not be nearly as nice. Wind speeds will be from fifty to fifty-five miles per hour, and it'll be a cold wind from the southeast. Temperatures will range from five degrees to just three. Unit three, lesson lesson two, listen and read. How's everything, Mum? Terrible! It's so hot. Temperatures have been getting up to forty-six degrees for the past month. Have you heard about the wildfires near Melbourne? Yes, I was watching them on the news last night. They're spreading. Yes, they've been burning out of control for days now. But why are they so bad this year? Because everything's as dry as a bone and ready to burn. We haven't had any rain recently. And the strong winds we've been getting have been making the fires worse. Have they been causing much damage? Yes, they're a disaster. Lots of people have lost everything. Send us some of your cold English winter, please. Well, the weather here is strange too. It's only February, but it's quite warm and sunny, and some spring flowers have already started flowering. Really? Yes, really. Spring has been starting earlier and earlier these last few years, and autumn has been going on later. This year we haven't really had a winter. What's happening to the world? Well, the scientists have been warning us about global warming for ages. Perhaps the climate really is changing. Unit th- three, lesson five, listen and speak, part one. Well, everyone, I、uh, think most of us watched Our World on TV last night and listened to the interview about climate change. Well, now today we're very lucky to have Dr. Mori with us here at Valley Road Comprehensive, and she's agreed to answer your questions. Who would like to start? Part two. Dr. Mori, I'd, I'd like to ask this. Why exactly did global warming start when it did? That's a good question. As you know, human activities are probably the main cause of global warming, and a very important activity was the industrial revolution. That was when people started changing from growing things to making things. It started here in Britain in about 1750. And you see, the new industries needed many new factories. Excuse me, Doctor Morrie. Yes, of course. What sorts of things did they make in those factories? 
they produced lots of things, including, for example, cotton to make clothes and iron to make engines and other things. And these factories burned the dirtiest of the fossil fuels, coal, which produced lots of pollution and lots of carbon dioxide. But Dr. Murray, do you mean that just this country alone caused global warming? Oh no! In the early nineteenth century, the industrial revolution started spreading across Europe and then to America. So by eighteen fifty. There were thousands and thousands of polluting factories in many countries. Excuse me, but when exactly did global warming begin? That's a very interesting point. By about the same date, 1850, global CO2 levels and temperatures were beginning to rise slightly. That was the start. What's been happening since then? Since then, industry's been spreading to other parts of the world, including my country, Japan, and now, of course, also to China. And so, in recent years, CO2 levels and temperatures have been rising faster, and this global warming is leading to climate change. Part Part Three. The rising human population is making the situation much worse. Many more people in the world today mean much more pollution and CO2. This, in turn, is leading to much more global warming and climate change. The chart shows the huge population rise since 1750. At that time, the global population was about a billion, and it was rising quite slowly. However, in the early 19th century, it began to increase more quickly, and since 1950, it has been rising very, very rapidly. U Unit three, lesson six, pronunciation, part one. Fossil. Global. Other. Across, alone, bone, clothes, cotton, love, Monday, month, top, part two. Fossil fuels, global warming, other countries, across Europe, this country alone, a broken bone, making clothes, a cotton shirt. I'd love to talk. Monday afternoon. The month after next. The top of the hill.